Flight Sim Captains and welcome to this X-Plane 11 video. Today I'm going to show you 7 easy ways to get photo scenery in X-Plane 11. This is sort of an extension to a video I did about a year ago where I showed you guys 5 easy ways to get photo scenery in X-Plane without having a clue about ortho for XP and all that good stuff. Anyways, in the first video we took a look at sites on the internet offering downloadable photo scenery for most of Europe, with a particular high quality around Spain, Italy, the Czech Republic and Slovakia. In addition, we also had a look at a site offering tiles for a good portion of Hawaii. This site has actually just updated their explained sceneries, so maybe it's time for you to, again, go check out this site. If you missed the first easy photo scenery video, then no worries, I've provided a link in the video description below this video. Anyways, as you all may know, especially if you've made your own tiles with Auto for XP, it takes a serious amount of time to download the tiles and process them. The quality varies a lot depending on the download source, clouds and ground textures, color variation and so on. Therefore, it's particularly interesting that in some of the sceneries I'm going to show you in this video, actions has been taken to correct for these color variations and clouds on the ground textures to maximize the immersion of the scenery when used in X-Plane. We are going to have a look at photo scenery from a great amount of different islands around the world, as well as tiles from Brazil, the French Alps, New Zealand, the US and Norway. So, without further ado, let's get on with this video. Starting with a couple of users on the explain.org forums offering photo scenery for a couple of different islands. The first being Didier971. Here you'll find photo scenery for a good handful of Caribbean islands, the Bahamas, St. Vincent, St. Bart's, the Grenadines, Guadeloupe, Martinique and many more. They are all made with Zoom level 17. So if you're interested in island hopping in the Caribbean, then go have a look at Didier971's files linked in the description down below. I'm sure you'll find something you'll like. The next user on the explain.org forums that offers photo scenery is Juliet Romeo. Here you'll find photo scenery from different parts of the world, a couple of Japanese islands, Iwo Jima and Okinawa, as well as other places like for example the Midway Atoll and Vietnam. The sceneries are mostly made in Zoom level 17, but a few are made in Zoom level 16. Go have a look and see if there is a photo scenery that you'll find interesting in Juliet Romeo's file section linked in the video description down below. Next up is a photo scenery of Norway. Unfortunately, at the present time, only a small portion of Norway. The Norway photo real project offered by .org user success. I don't know if that's the actual plan, but the name of the project could imply that the plan was to cover the complete area of Norway. While Norway offers some of the most stunning surroundings with its cliffs and fjords, this would be very welcome. Anyways, at the present time, the only tiles available are around Ålesund and Ulsteinvik. But keep an eye out on the project it may have more in store. Next we have Brazil Ortho Photo, the complete project uploaded by .org user Deschminder. This package offers, as the name implies, very close to complete coverage of Brazil. It's been made with a compromise between hard disk storage needed and texture quality in mind. So, as you can see on the map, it has different colors corresponding to the zoom level of the different tiles. The green colored areas represent flyover areas which are made in zoom level 14, meaning that when you fly at high altitudes they will look good, whereas at VFR altitudes it will be kind of blocky. 
On the other hand, the amount of hard disk space these tiles take up compared to a higher zoom level is dramatically decreased. The orange areas are departure and arrival areas, which are made with zoom level 16, and the purple areas are areas with airports, where the tiles have been made in a combination of zoom level 16 and zoom level 19 in airports and their surroundings. Next we have Lindemann's New Zealand Orthophotography, uploaded by Widget. This is a package continuously being worked on and enhanced with new tiles offering coverage of a good part of New Zealand. The tiles are all made with zoom level 17 and, and are all color corrected and edited to get rid of clouds in the textures and so on. So a great amount of work has gone into this package to offer a seamless experience. As you can see from the screenshots in the background, the package looks absolutely amazing and offers a stunning experience. Please notice that the complete package at this stage will take up about 120 gigabytes. So do keep that in mind if you intend to download and install. Next we have US Orthophotos uploaded by Forkboy. This is a huge project, covering, as you can see on the map, a large portion of North America. Most tiles are zoom level 16, or a combination of zoom level 16 and 17 around airports. The project is offered through torrent files, so to keep it alive it's dependent on users to keep seeding files. So if you are going to make use of this massive amount of work, Please do consider seeding files you've downloaded, so that other users can also have a chance to download. Anyways, if you're flying in North America, and I'm sure many of you are, then this project may have your interest. The last photo scenery that I'm going to cover in this video is my absolute favorite. In an area I fly all the time and use in many of my videos because of the stunning surroundings. It's from a sky story and covers a large portion of the French Alps with zoom level 17 tiles or optionally zoom level 16 if you are low on disk space. All tiles have been color corrected and clouds have been removed from ground textures to look absolutely amazing. Besides that, a sky story also offers photo sceneries of Ibiza, Corsica and Lake Tahoe, also in zoom level 17. As you can see from the screenshots in the background, the surroundings covered by these sceneries are absolutely breathtaking. Ok folks, this video has reached the end. Once again, if you missed the first video I made about easy ways to photo scenery in Xplane, then I've provided a link in the description under this video. If you found this video useful, then please don't forget to share, like and subscribe to the channel for more useful and entertaining flight videos. Thank you so much for watching and see you very soon.